Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody, and this is going to be the reaction, the Sports Fanatic News reaction. I'm Joe Vorek to the Flyers, two to nothing bounce back win over the Buffalo Sabers. As I said in my game preview today, I did not think this team with AV as a coach would ever have back to back blunders of performances, and they did not. They showed up big tonight. Moose showed up huge tonight. Brian Elliott, Brian Elliott was huge tonight. Played an absolutely fantastic game, saving all of his 40 shots, making some pivotal key saves early because this wasn't the most beautiful game, but we played a good game and early Elliott was really able to establish some momentum with some very key saves early, especially the one he fell over, saved the shot, saved the rebound shot. That was a huge play there among others. Elliott has just looked great um, since coming here to be able to help us when we have lost games really supplant uh Blunder of an effort is the nicest word to put it uh, for the game uh, last night. And this was a great, 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 great bounce back. Uh, TK Limblum Patrick line has been absolutely ridiculous. I mean, <clears throat> that line has been lethal. Uh, Patrick's been great this season thus far. And uh, TK has been great this season thus far. And, of course, um, has has Limblum. Uh, Limblum has three points, two goals, and an assist that Jamie Bascal tweeted, the great Jamie Bascal. Patrick has three points, a goal, and an assist, and TK has six points already with four goals and two assists. So that line is killing it, and obviously the Raffle, um, the Raffle, Lawton, and Knack line has been forechecking great again. Knack was flying around like the great Knack attack he is out there. That's what I call him because he's one of the best forecheckers and attackers in the league at just pestering and pissing off the other team there, and he's been doing a great job at that as well as that entire fourth line. And JVR, JVR has been buzzing this year. Even in the loss last night, he was one of their best skaters. He was definitely one of their best skaters, physical skater, very good skater tonight. And AV in Bill Metzler's tweet, um, just really did um, call out JVR in a good way uh, for really stepping up and really playing a good game. He said JVR, uh, AV credited JVR as a difference maker tonight, was physical, won battles, played a responsible game in his zone, in his end of the zone. Vigneault said that although JVR didn't get a point tonight, the coaches certainly noticed. So it's great to see that even when guys aren't getting a point, this is what's great about this coaching staff. They're going to give you props. They're going to take notice to your great physical and forechecking play, of which Limblum also was able to provide as well. Those guys going up against a guy like Ristolainen and were able to hit him, got knocked down, got right back up. I think Sanheim might have been the other guy that hit him, got knocked down, got right back up. Well, it was great to see the big physical play, as Hartsy said during the intermissions, and the preload to the post game as well. It was very good to see the Flyers play a good four check, a good checking game, and just a good game overall. You got a very nice uh, breakaway goal by TK that have actually two other goal scorers in the league, and Teddy Bluger and I can't remember the other scored the same exact goal tonight with the same exact move. Don't know if I've seen that before, but Teeks was able to score a very nice play on a very nice pass up by Limblum. Then the second one, you got a very nice chip pass by Gus, who's been having many issues in the defensive zones with turnovers, but has obviously helped us in the offensive zone. So he's a guy you're going to give and take with always type player, but he's still adjusting to the system. It'll be interesting when Ghost comes back if he's always going to be a steady Eddie player, but we'll see. He made a very nice play there to chip it up to Hayes. Hayes was able to get it over to Voracek for the very phenomenal one-timer, and that was able to be the decider right there. And then Hayes, of course, accidentally scored later on when he cleared it down later in the game on the empty net. The puck ended up rolling on its edge and somehow curved back and uh, went towards the net and went in. So sometimes, you know, you just got to take the luck as much as you take the skill, and that's what that was. But obviously, I said tonight, I thought guys that were going to be able to step up were guys like Jake Voracek, guys like Morgan Frost, who looked really good, bless his soul. This is the first time he's been injured in his career. Hope he's going to be okay and be able to come back right away, as well as Philippe Myers, who also got injured in this game. Uh, AV said they're getting MRIs, and we'll know more on Wednesday. So hopefully those guys are able to come back. Um, they also said on Oscar, Oscar Lindblom has been an absolute menace and a beast out there on the ice, running rough shot through teams. Even in the losing effort, uh, he was good as well, one of the better skaters. So AV said, I'm getting 100%. Whatever he does, he gives 100%. The kid is all in, and he gives it all every shift. It's what I expect from him and what I expect from this team. So obviously Oscar Lindblom already, early on in his career, has become a leader on this team and someone that the team looks to 
as a very good support system and very good guy to look to as a role model just via the way he plays the game. He's very aggressive out there. He's a very good four checker, and he always gives that 100% tenacity, as A.V. said. So his closing points, this was a very good game tonight. JVR was another, another very effective skater. Knack looked good again. Lawton looked good again. Raffle looked good again. That line looks very good. And then the 19, 11, and 23 line looks amazing. Uh, that line is looks absolutely deadly. And as A.V. said, he doesn't consider his lines for second, third, fourth. He just runs them and runs them with how he matches them up, and that's what you should do with the depth of this team. Uh, you've got very good depth. Obviously, if Frost is injured and Cooch is out at the same time, you're probably going to see Bunneman would be my guess come in against the Bruins, and for me, with the depth, Bunneman's a very good two-way player. That doesn't match up bad against the Bruins if that has to be the case, but we'll wait and see what happens. Tonight, my three stars for the game would definitely be, obviously, Brian Moose Elliott as the number one star with the 40 save shutout. Then we would go to the second star, which is going to be Travis Konechny, who has been a fireball season this far, winning the second star of the week last week, and now potting another goal tonight. And then, obviously, our third star will be none other than Jake Voracek, who was able to pot the one-timer. Also looked good on the four-check in the defensive zone tonight, being able to make some nice plays. He has looked significantly better on defense since A.V.'s become the head coach and has made himself into a very good, in my opinion, 200-foot player as well as becoming a very effective player in the offensive zone, as he's always been. So this has been the Flyers' 2-0 reaction over the Buffalo Sabres. We were able to split it. We start the season 3-1, and one, still starting a very good, strong season. And we go in to face the Buffalo, or excuse me, the Boston Bruins, who lost to the New York Islanders 1-0 in their last game on Thursday. So that'll be our next affair against the Boston Bruins on Thursday. Until then, have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everybody. This has been Joe Boer from Sports Fanatic News with the reaction to the Flyers' 2-0 win over the Sabres. Go Flyers anytime, anywhere, baby. Great game tonight by the boys. Peace out, everybody.